I'ma keep it a bean. Stick to the script every scene. This from last year, but they clean. Say to say, I'ma take some else, but it's winning team. Charlie Sheen, fam gang, the regime. I'm from Piney Green. What's good, y'all? Trying to the most smoke, no joke, and I'm back, back, back again with a brand new video. And I'ma keep it a bow, Bray Biscuit. I'm still really high off that win from last night against the Bears. I know it's the first game of the preseason, but look, we saw a lot of really good things out of a lot of guys in a lot of different position groups. That should have us looking really good moving forward. Giving us a lot of hope for not just this season, but for a lot of seasons moving forward because we have a lot of young guys on the roster who are showing they have a lot of strength, a lot of resiliency, and a lot of talent that we did not really expect out of them this early in the process. But in this video, I want to talk more about expectations and having a little bit of patience and exercising that expectation because there's some young guys in the team right now that we already gave Hall of Fame jackets, gave them the starter role. We told everyone we knew and loved, people we hated, that we had the next best thing smoking. But we have to understand that there is a plan. You gotta have a little bit of god dang faith, Arthur. And there's a few examples of this, but the guy I wanna focus on today is Will Greer. Look, off bat, from the moment he was drafted, 90% of the Panthers fans were were just automatically in love. And I was part of that group, but there was really three main like subgroups of fans who had different opinions on Will Greer. A good 65% of the fan base was saying, look, Will Greer is already the number two quarterback. He should be the backup already. 2019, if Cam were to get hurt, go down, whatever the situation is, Will Greer is already that guy. And then you had about 25% of the fan base saying, Will Greer is already the starter. Cam, who I never heard of her. I don't know who this Cam Nart, Nart, Nart what, what is his name? Is it, is it, is it Com, Com Narton? I don't know what his name is. Don't matter to me. We have Will Greer now from West Virginia. Oh, captain, my captain. That's the guy for the team off rip. And then there was about 10% of people who were talking about, you know, well, we got to see what was going on. Will Greer looks like he might be kind of a project quarterback was the reason he got picked at number 100 and not a little closer to maybe in the middle of the second round. There were some things that were going on with him in West Virginia. And although he was, what, third or fourth in the Heisman voting just this past year, there was a few reasons why that was. And I actually went into depth talking about that in my uh, breakdown videos of Will Greer before the draft even happened. I was talking about how the West Virginia offense was really tailor-made to make Will Greer look even more special than he is. I don't want to say that. I'm not saying that Will Greer is not a good quarterback or that he's a product of the West Virginia offense. But if you saw and you actually watched the film and not just a bunch of highlights, which is really a bad way of judging anyone, you'll notice that most often Will Greer was thrown to his first read. And for the most part in the offense, he was only looking at half the field. So his coaches really did scheme him to be able to, you know, kind of simplify the game for him and make sure his reads and progressions were easy to go through. And I'm not saying that he's bad. I just want to make sure I say that again. But there were times, a lot of times in his college career, especially his last year at West Virginia, where what Will Greer was asked to do at West Virginia was not really the most complicated of things compared to, like, I guess the whole scope of quarterbacks in college. And for some of y'all, that might sound a little bit harsh, but I think last night's game against the Bears really did prove a little bit. Now, we don't want to go too hard and, you know, reading too far into what we saw in the very first game of the preseason in 2019, but it's kind of unrealistic to start having expectations on the good things we saw last night and not really talk about the things that need improvement as well. Will Greer in that game against a very, very neutered uh, pass rush from the, from the Bears did not look all that great compared to Kyle Allen, who I know he has NFL experience already. He's already played in uh, multiple NFL games. Kyle Allen, looked, he looked composed. He looked like he was in there. It's like pitching catch. He was like on his timing. He looked really, really good in the pocket, really comfortable. The best way of describing Will Greer was... Kind of skittish. You can see it in his footsteps. You can see it in his drop back. You can see it when he was reading the field. There was a time, I think on third down, it was like third and long, third and 15, I think it was. Uh, everything was covered up field. The man just got sacked two plays before that. And he had some weird like jump pass to an underneath route to a running back who was five yards behind the original line of scrimmage. It was a really, really weird pass in general just off of like mechanics. But he one-hopped it like four yards up the field to this guy. I don't know who it was. It might have been Elijah Holyfield. But it was a really, really, really strange pass with no pressure on him. It looked like nerves was getting to him. He saw nothing was open downfield. And he just got really antsy. And there were other times in the game we saw him look really, really antsy. 
especially when there was a rush coming to him. He did freeze one time, and I don't really like all that. I don't like guys freezing in the pocket, but it's his first NFL game. I can move past that, but there were times where he looked really, really shook. Will Greer looked shook at some point, and we do know the offensive scheme is to look at the running back first in the passing game and see what he can give us, so you don't really have a lot of chances to like really prove and go like above and beyond and be really flashy in this North Turner offense. But there are some opportunities, and you just did not see it all that much from Will Greer last night. Decent enough stats. I mean, 9 for 16, 77 yards. That pick was bad. That pick was just horrible. I don't want to harp on it too much, but there was a lot wrong with that pick. One, it looked forced. Two, I'm not even sure if it was overthrown or underthrown. Was he throwing it to the underneath uh, slant or the drag route? Was it to the post going the opposite way, like 10 yards of the field? I have no idea. What was going on there with that pass? That's a play there that's going to be a really big teaching moment for him to let him know, look, you got to take what defense gives you or at the very least put the ball where it needs to be because it maybe could have been a catch if it was on target. It was a tighter window, but that was a tough one. That's no other way of putting it. And I'm not trying to say he's going to be bad or that he is bad or that he can't improve. I'm saying that the process for Will Greer might be a little bit longer than some of us were thinking. We already know this man is the future of the Panthers moving forward. If Cam can't go for the next four to five years, I think he will be able to. I think Cam's going to be looking really, really good this year, next year, moving forward. But in the event that he can't, we know what Will Greer can be in the next year or two. And I think it does no one any favors, not him, not the team, not the fan base, to try to rush him into being the backup all too quickly. I think he's going to be a really, really good quarterback in the future. I do still have high hopes for him going into next year, learning, getting a full year of NFL football under his belt. I think he'll be straight, but I don't think he's ready to be the backup quarterback this upcoming season. That's my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts? What do you see of Will Greer? Is he ready? Is he not ready? Do you think he's going to be ready for the upcoming seasons? And when do you think Will Greer will have his real big opportunity to have a shot at maybe becoming the starter for the Carolina Panthers? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because YouTube's being really weird about showing you guys when I upload these videos. And as always, you already know to do that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.